I have begged you guys, do not send pictures of any food that I've ever made to Gordon Ramsay. I don't want him to see it. I don't want him to unfollow me on Twitter. And guess what you guys did? <laughs> if anybody sends pictures of the final result to Gordon Ramsay on Twitter, I am going to block all of you. And of course, Gordon Ramsay saw it and he came for me. He came for my brand. He has roasted me on his Twitter account and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go on Gordon Ramsay's Twitter account and we're gonna read the roast together and I just wanna say that I'm probably gonna cry. Your Wellington looks like a Wellington boot. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. How can I live with this? How can I ever make another YouTube video? How can I ever go outside again? You know what? Just a few essentials for the road. Time to go. See you now. Not so easy. Surprise, Gordon Ramsay. I bet you thought you've seen the last of me. I'm mostly back because I forgot my shoes. Gordon Ramsay wants to come for me. He wants to roast me. And he's expecting that I'm not gonna do anything in return. I don't think so. So for today's video, guys, I'm gonna go to a Gordon Ramsay's restaurant and we're gonna rate his food and we're gonna crush his dreams just like he crushed mine. I made a reservation, we're going to a not the fanciest restaurant for Gordon Ramsay because <laughs> these videos have a budget, but it's still a pretty fancy Gordon Ramsay restaurant and I'm gonna try a million different foods and by a million I mean two because that's probably how many I can afford. We're gonna be ruthless the same way he was about my beef Wellington. So here we are. So here's the restaurant on the inside. There's a lot of different things. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna go with. I'm so glad I've got a table in the corner because I feel like everyone is already staring at me. But I guess I don't care. I guess I'm here to write the food and to be really hard on the food items. So let's do it. So here we got some bread and butter and I think this might be soy sauce for the sushi. I mean, <laughs> this is literally bread and butter, like, there's not much to say about it. I hate this already because this is honestly everything's gonna be amazing and I'm just gonna look like an idiot. <laughs> so good. Wow, that looks amazing, thank you. Would you look at the insane amount of food that I ordered? Did I get a little bit carried away? So this one right here is pasta. This one is popcorn chicken, which I'm very excited about. This one here is salt and pepper squid. Um, we've got mac and cheese right in the center. This is sweet potato chips with um, guacamole, or actually it's called smashed avocado because <laughs> guacamole is not fancy enough. And this right here is buffalo chicken pellets with a sauce that I'm not entirely sure what it is, but we're gonna find out. And this one just arrived now. This is the vegetarian sushi. It looks incredible, guys. I'm so excited to try this. I think the first thing that we should try is the popcorn chicken because it's my favorite thing everywhere. You guys know that if you watch my videos. This is gonna be everything. I just want to switch off the camera and just eat everything in one bowl. I hate Gordon Ramsay. Not in a million years I could ever, ever roast this. Like, this is the best chicken I've ever had. It's so good. Look at this one. That's a giant piece. Mm. This is the best popcorn chicken in the whole world. I'm sorry, but it's so good. Okay, guys, so I think we should try the pasta now. Oh. 
I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is kale and goat's cheese pasta, so... I'm leaving. It's so good that I literally just want to eat and not even talk. It's honestly perfect, guys. I hate this. This video is nothing like I thought it would be. You know something is that good when you're going for thirds in less than 30 seconds. I think we should go for the sweet potato chips and the smashed avocado. Here we've got a sweet potato chip. This is going to be amazing. It's so incredibly flavorful, but it does taste like guacamole. I would happily eat this for the rest of my life and nothing else. That's all I have to say about this. Most people would think this is gross, but I hate to die. I think we should go for the mac and cheese now because it's been waiting for me. You know what? This is my plate now. <laughs> the crunchy bits on top is just the best part. It's so good. I'm gonna sit here for the next seven minutes and eat this and then we'll try something else. But this is all going in one go. I'm gonna go for the salt and pepper squid now because it's looking very lonely in here and I think it needs some company in my stomach. Let me like show you. I mean the camera is like not gonna focus. I'm gonna squeeze the lemon. I think this is actually my favorite so far. I wish you could try it through the camera because you'd know why it's so difficult for me to roast anything because there's nothing bad to say, like, I don't know. I don't want to go home. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna live here from now on and just eat this food. It's a great day. I'm gonna hide in the kitchen. At least from the starters, this is definitely the best one that I've tried. It's so, so good. I'm actually going to dip the squid in the avocado. I love fresh avocado, guys. I'm saving the sushi for last, so I'm gonna try the buffalo chicken fillets now. I was gonna say, it's kinda similar to the popcorn chicken. And then I was looking for the popcorn chicken, and I realized <laughs> it's all gone. I think this is blue cheese sauce, which is not my favorite, but I'm still gonna give it a try. Actually, everything. When you get me to eat blue cheese sauce, that's when you know it's real. Gordon Ramsay is making it very difficult to hate him or any of this. This is the moment of truth because this is actually one of my favorite foods ever. So we're gonna start with some soy sauce. We're gonna go with this one right here. I like it with a lot of soy sauce, do not judge me. Me eating vegetables is something that you don't see every day on this channel. Take a screenshot, man. <laughs> I am shook it. That's the best piece of sushi I've ever had. I've got no idea why it was so good. It just was. This one is like an egg sushi piece. I'm so glad I saved this one for last because this one is actually my favorite. I am speechless. I wanted to hate everything in here. And I love everything. This is like one of my favorite restaurants I've ever been to. This is how we know that the food was incredible. It's all gone. There's literally not a single bit of food left on the table. This is the menu for dessert. These are the options. I think I might go with the chocolate cake and with the creme brulee because I want to try more than one. I know I've had so much food guys. So this is a chocolate cake and I think it comes with some vanilla ice cream on the side. And here we've got the creme brulee. It looks really good. I, I'm not sure what that is on top. I already know. <laughs> the consistency of it is so creamy. It's like a chocolate mousse, but also kind of like cake. Hey. 
It tastes like chocolate cake, but in the consistency of it, it's like a mousse or like a pumpkin pie. I actually really like it. I really know which one I prefer. I might have to try it again one more time. I think the creme brulee might be my favorite. There's nothing to roast here, unfortunately, guys. This is very, very annoying, Mr. Ramsey. And we're back in my house, and I just want to say that I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, this video is a joke. I love Gordon Ramsay so much. I know he's amazing. He's one of my biggest inspirations, and I was just so happy that he actually watched my video. I mean, I'm hoping that he did, because that's the only way he would have known that my beef Wellington did actually look like a boot. Those of you who did like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It means the world to me. I really appreciate it. And shout out to Gordon Ramsay. I'm going to link his Twitter and everything down below. Low, like if you guys want to check his restaurants as well if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet you'd mean the world to me if you did there's a little subscribe button down below and next to it there's a bell and if you tap that bell every time i put up a new food video you'll receive a notification on your phone and obviously that means a lot to me because i don't want you guys to miss out on my videos i love you guys and i will see you on my next video which is probably tomorrow bye bye